On April 26th of this year, Texas has scheduled the execution of Ivan Cantu. Ivan has maintained his innocence for 23 years. This is a picture of Ivan at age 27, the year before his conviction. There is reasonable doubt in this case. A lot of this evidence found uh, in supposedly, purportedly linking Ivan to, to the offense, the very real possibility that, you know, there was at least an opportunity for other people to have planted that evidence uh, in an attempt to frame Ivan. If Ivan said he said last saw her alive at 6 o'clock that morning, I would buy it. I'm not buying that they were dead the night before. It's been proven that the state star witness testimony is riddled with perjury. It just looks like the state told her what to say. You know, they fed her information, information that, that as it turns out, was incorrect, and um, told her what to say. You've got the police feeding their witness details to match the crime. You've got the prosecutors feeding their witnesses details to match the crime. I remember being in like a little room that was connected to the courtroom, but I know for a fact that somebody told me what he was wearing before I went on the stand. Before you told them? Before I told them, yes. I know for a fact they did. Evidence was withheld from Ivan's defense. The bulk of these binders, you know, they never did get it. Witness statements, statements that, you know, offense reports that the state argued on the record, well, you know, we don't think they should have them. And Ivan's defense rendered ineffective assistance of counsel. The state used, in this case, a DNA expert, a ballistics expert, a blood spatter expert, medical examiner, fingerprint expert. The defense requested not a single expert not a single expert to attempt to combat the state's case in chief. And not only did the defense not bring on and call their own expert witnesses, the defense called zero witnesses. On trial for his life, Ivan's attorneys did not put up any defense. This is all documented, and it's horrifying that someone can be put to death when there are all these problems with their conviction. So I ask you, if Ivan Cantu is executed on April 26th, is that justice? There's still time to stop this.